Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ETL Hub. This video is continuation of the previous video where we try to learn how to create connection with Oracle in application integration. In this video, on top of this, we will build a process where we will get data from API and store into the table on real-time basis. So if you have missed the link, you can follow previous videos that is uh, chapter 4.1 and chapter 3. Chapter 3 contains to create a process to get the data from API and chapter 4.1 consists of creating an Oracle connection in application integration. So let's get started by creating a process in this video. So in this service, we are passing ISBN number from postman request. From there, it triggers the third party API and fetches following details. So if you go to this third party API connection, so it fetch ISBN title, website and pages. Now we want to store that data into our database. So click on this service and drag between the service and output port, output assignment. In the service, select the service type as connection. In the connections, so I have created this one which is same as which I have shown demonstrated in this video. Select the action. So I want to insert the book details. Click on it. So whichever actions have been defined while creating service connector, those all will be available. So choose the right one as per your requirement. So I want to insert the book. So I have selected insert book details. So these are the input fields in ISPN, in pages, title and website. So I need to pass the values coming from the third party API that is the previous service, the output fields from this service connector to this service. So let's get started. We will map those fields. Make it as fields. So we'll get the data directly from fields. Now publish it. Now try running it through the postman. So we had already created the previous request. So the input fields had hardly changed. So there is no change in the request structure from the postman. Only we have tweaked the logic to have additional step to insert the record into database. So just click on the send. Seems like request is successful. We have received the response values. And let's check whether the record has been inserted. Yes, the record has been inserted successfully. So we have tried to achieve the target, the learning target from this video to insert the record from API into the table on real time basis. Now let's try giving a wrong ISBN number and then try to send it. So the API request has been failed, right? And even if you see over here, the record has not been inserted. So many times we need to do a custom error handling. So if you go to this process console to understand where it has failed, you can see it has been faulted, right? So click on this ID to understand. So here it, it has failed actually. And if you see it has caught the fault, whatever the error we have, error code and apart from this reason, so it didn't went to the insert. But many a times, there will be a requirement to log this error. 